Parts are assembled in fixtures by the welder, and then our robot tacks all the components into place. The robot then completes the final welding of the part. Parts are removed and inspected by the welder to ensure welds are complete and meet blueprint specifications. Our large robot can weld a variety of product in both our large building cells as well as a station for smaller components. Our Super Atlas is a popular model for building clear span widths up to 108 feet wide. Subcomponents are inspected prior to being fit into the fixture for tack welding. Once the components are tack welded, they are removed from the jig and final welding takes place with assistance of one of our large cranes. Once final welding is complete, parts are inspected for weld quality and critical dimensions. They are then staged for final inspection by our quality technician. Our bandsaw is used to cut subcomponents to length as well as to cut our hollow structural sections, or HSS. Our HSS is hot dipped galvanized prior to processing and is primarily used in our end walls. Our HSS comes in a range of sizes from four inches by four inches all the way up to 12 inches by 12 inches. Templates are used for the different hole configurations to ensure alignment in the field. Although most of our swaging is completed at our raw material suppliers, we do have the capability in-house to swage material. The swaging material reduces the diameter of the material so the parts fit together to make one long piece of continuous pipe.